We built the AIM Center because of the continued evolution and enhanced capabilities of our electro-optical infrared products. So when we think about our EOIR products, they're really the eyes for the pilot. We need to be able to see further, resolve with more detail. That all means tighter manufacturing tolerances. The features that were built into this facility were designed in a way that will allow us to fine tune these systems to our customers' needs. Through digital technology, we are able to design and model the entire facility without even putting a shovel in the ground. And the real neat thing about that was we were able to get the operators to participate in designing the new environment. We consider our operators the surgeons, understanding that they're really the people that are bringing value to the hardware because they're the ones that are assembling this end item that we end up selling to our customer. They have automated torque tools, the work instructions are automated, everything's there at their fingertips. This investment was and is our digital transformation. Everything that we have designed in this factory started with Industry 4.0 criteria and benchmarks from around both the A&D industry as well as the auto industry. We really focused on gathering the data faster, quicker, through automated processes. We have RFID readers set up all around the new building to ensure that we have maintained metrics on all pieces of equipment, all products entering and leaving. Our test equipment will all be online. So all that data analysis allows us to then be predictable. This is the single largest investment that our INS has made in operations. It's also a testament to the willingness to invest in the future, the willingness to really execute our digital strategy and really drive a different way of operating that has the operator and technician at the center of that manufacturing universe.